Howdy folks, is the subset relation on all sets an equivalence relation? That's the question we'll be answering in today's Wrath of Math lesson. This is a viewer requested video. The viewer request on screen now spoils the answer to the question, but hopefully you'll enjoy watching the rest of the lesson and we'll explain the solution in detail. Always appreciate those viewer requests, so be sure to leave yours down in the comments. Now let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to need three arbitrary sets to fully answer this question, so we'll just say let A, B, and C be sets. Remember that a relation is an equivalence relation if the relation is reflexive, transitive, and symmetric. So if the subset relation satisfies all three of those properties, then it is an equivalence relation. So let's just address them one by one and see if it is indeed or not an equivalence relation. First, reflexivity. That means that every set should be a subset of itself. That's what it would mean for subset to be a reflexive relation. So let's just consider the set A. Is A a subset of itself? Well, if we just take an arbitrary element, little a, from our arbitrary set, big A, what does this mean? Well, this would mean, of course, exactly what it says. Little a is an element of big A. Seems kind of redundant, and it kind of is, but notice that this means certainly, by definition, every set is a subset of itself. Since every element of A is an element of A, a is a subset of A. So yes, the subset relation is reflexive. All right, there's that out of the way. Now, how about transitivity? Is the subset relation transitive? Let's write and uh, let's use this green. There's a loud plane going over outside. Hopefully you can't hear it too much. All right, so what does it mean for the subset relation to be transitive, if it is? Well, let's set it up. Let's say, we'll say, let the set A let A be a subset of our set B, and we'll let B be a subset of our set C. In order for the subset relation to be transitive, this must imply that A is a subset of C. If A is a subset of B, and B is a subset of C, A is a subset of C. That's what it would mean for this to be a transitive relation. So is it transitive? You probably already know, yes, indeed it is, but let's make sure we know why. If we just take an arbitrary element, little a, from our set big A, what do we know about little a? Well, we know since the set A is a subset of B, little a has to be in B by definition of subset. So since, again, since a is a subset of B, every element of A also is an element of B. If little a is an element of the set B, what else do we know? Well, the set B is a subset of C, so every element in B is also in the set C. So this means our element little a also is an element of C. What does that mean? Well, since every element of A is also an element of C, this means by definition of subset, A is a subset of C. Thus, transitivity does hold for the subset relation. The subset relation is transitive. Beautiful. Now for the last one, how about the symmetric property? If the subset relation is symmetric and we can prove it, then we will have shown that it is an equivalence relation. As you might suspect, this is where it breaks. The subset relation is not symmetric. For the subset relation to be symmetric, that would mean if A is a subset of B, B has to be a subset of A. That's what it would mean, and that's certainly not true. To show that that's not true for all sets, as in it's not the case that it holds in general, all we have to do is provide a counterexample. For counterexample, check this out. Consider the set containing zero. Certainly the set containing zero is a subset of the set containing zero and one. However, one is not an element of the set containing zero. So it's not the case that the set containing zero and one is a subset of the set containing zero. Thus, the subset relation is not in general a symmetric relation. Here we have this set is a subset of this one, but this one is not a subset of the first one. So no, the subset relation is not symmetric, thus it cannot be an equivalence relation. So hopefully that helps you see 
by definition why subset is not an equivalence relation. Just to, uh, well, you know, pause and take a look if you want to see it some more, but I'm going to go ahead and erase it. And we'll just quickly look at a uh, Venn diagram sort of explanation just to give us a good sort of pictorial idea as to why the subset relation is certainly not an equivalence relation. Here, let's consider our set A, set A, that circle there, and then in purple, a set B. Remember that visually, we can think of the subset relation as meaning that one set fits entirely within the other. Here, the set A is clearly a subset of B. Everything in A is also in B. Now, it makes some sense that subset would be a reflexive relation. Certainly, all of the set A fits within all of the set A, it fits perfectly. How about transitivity? Well, certainly, if A is contained within B, and B is contained within some other set C, obviously A is also contained within C. So that makes sense that transitivity holds, but there's no reason to suspect that the symmetric property would hold. There's no reason to think that just because A fits in B, that B should also fit in A, and certainly it does not hold. So, hope that helps you understand why the subset relation is reflexive, is transitive, but is not symmetric, and thus is not an equivalence relation. I was losing my breath, so maybe I was going a little fast there, but be sure to let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and uh, be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. Check the description if you'd like to leave me a tip to help support the channel. You can do that on PayPal, or a small monthly donation on Patreon is really appreciated as well. I'll see you next time. Broken hearts that got unlinked But still beating as if in sync Swear there's a thousand hearts that are beating at the same tempo But they're not pumping blood into